Hi, welcome to the talk show presented by the UK Entertainment Awards. My name is Chanel and our guest today is Malogo. Mary Pondies. Yeah, 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 I'm a fan. Of me. I am a fan. I'm a yes. fan. I'm actually a fan. I don't know how to take it sometimes. No, do you know that. what? I was, I've been banging your tunes, like, seriously. I wasn't into Afro beats before, but banging them, like, yeah, so yeah, 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 I don't know. Do you know what? You was on Wretch's, yeah. um, yeah, one of his songs. Of That's the, it. Uh, the mixtape. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, oh, this guy is sick. But I thought you right. were someone else. I didn't even know who you were. <laughs> so, yeah, it's all good. But I've got loads of questions for you today. Okay. A couple of games as well. So don't be, too, don't, games, don't be too though. serious, you know. Yeah, yeah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> Just lighten up, lighten up, it's all good. So, obviously, you've worked with a lot of artists. Yeah. Um, such as Rich 32, uh -huh. Avelino, Most Ab Ax, Avelino, sorry. Avelino, yo, yo, sorry. I'm, I'm bad with <laughs> names, you know, so forgive me. Sorry. I knew I shouldn't have put that name down. I should have <laughs> just scrapped that name right in it. Um, Most Ax. Yeah. Yeah. And C have you got a tune with CBiz? I saw something on yeah, YouTube, yeah? yeah? CBiz, Gigs, Sneak, Sneak Bow, loads um, of people. Gecko. Oh, wow. Um, was, um, yeah. You, you're showing off now. You're like, yeah, I've got no, a couple just of I'm <laughs> just trying to like, figure out. Yeah. yeah. So how did you get to work with some of those artists? Because they're quite big artists, obviously, yeah. like yourself. But how did you um, get to work with them? To be honest, I just, I just went for it, man. Did I just, you? like, yo, you guys have got, I think they give you a good hook, like, chorus, whatsoever. Like, yeah. I think I've got it. And they say, yo, try, let's try it and see what you can do. So how, then, did yeah. you con how did you contact them? Email, um, slide in their DMs? What did you do? <laughs> With the wretch thing was a bit different because um, yeah. my guys actually put me through to the two wretch SOS, their producers. Okay. So I always go to the studio every time. So I went there and then yeah. obviously wretch came in. I was just chilling. Mm -hmm. And they said, yo, Logo, what do, you, what do you have for me on this beat? And then that's how it came to, you know. And the yeah. CBS thing was more of a different approach because I did a song already. Right. And obviously doing the thing that, that madness happened was whatever. Yeah. Um, he said, you know, can I just jump on this tune and, you know, let's make this happen. Right, I said, okay. cool, you know what? I, I like his voice, I like yeah. what he does, so that happened. Um, Sneak was one was a bit different. He just said, hit me up actually. He said, yo, like I need a summer jam from you. Okay. Then I was in Nigeria then. Yeah. So I said, when I come back from Nigeria, we'll mm -hmm. make it happen and that happened. Um, Mo Stacks was, uh, how did that happen? Yeah, hitting me up as well. I was in Nigeria. Oh, is so he getting hit yeah, up yeah. quite a lot? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was in Nigeria and he said, yo, listen. And I said, I was in I said, because I think I was there for like three weeks. Right. And then I said, you know, when I come back, we'll get into the studio. Then I went to the studio the next day. Yeah. And then that happened as well. Okay, so you guys got your video and Yeah, we stuff. did it actually two days after, actually. Okay, yeah. so you've been traveling quite a lot. Yeah. You're, you're on the go. Trying, trying, <laughs> trying, 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 trying to, to get there, man. I know, I hear you. Now, you also performed with Busy Signal in Africa, is yeah, that right? Yeah, in Gambia. Yeah? How did that, how did that, that come like, about? That's yeah, crazy. That's like one of the best, like, moments of my life. Really? Like, you know when no one knows you? Yeah. And you get to the stage, and then it's like, how do you shout for someone you don't even know? Yeah. Doesn't make sense. Yeah. But it's just the beat of the music. That like, music just make people just feel you if... Mm -hmm. They don't have to know you to like to to give you like yo you're doing well kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. So yeah. You find that a lot in the UK. It's like people just want to know you when you're kind of known, if that makes sense. Yeah, it used to get to me before like. Yeah. Um, why don't certain people support and this and that? But mm -hmm. then nowadays I don't really care no more no. in the sense that I just feel like I know where I'm trying to, I know where I'm going to or yeah. trying to go. I just have to keep working hard, and those that are not supporting now will support later. Exactly. I mean, it's so true. Doesn't mean they don't want to support. I just feel like sometimes I see as they're not ready. As like, I feel like they don't. They don't understand it. Yet. Yeah, yeah. Because like they need to see something that they will be able to understand it. Mm -hmm. Then and then yeah. they would. And then they will yeah. come along. Yeah. But you're blowing right now, so everyone's gonna Thanks, be man. hollering at you, like myself. <laughs> 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 now you've obviously worked with P2J. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he won the UK Entertainment Awards 2015 yeah. as 
best producer and yeah. he is banging. Yeah, he's yeah. got um he's done he's produced for Crepton uh, Conan. Yeah, Tiwa Savage, um Trey Songs, Davido. Mm-hmm. Um who else? Sorry. One minute, who, who's the presenter? I've got these uh, questions I'm down. Just <laughs> to, I'm just trying to help you. Out. I'm joking, no go um, on. Yeah, he's, he's like he's, he's doing very well man, right now. And yeah. yeah, man, that's my bro. Nah, he's good. He's good. So how did you guys come about doing all of this together? With him, I met I met him through the session. With, oh really? Um, Rich and okay. those guys. But I've known I've known him like before, before that. But we met each other and I said, yo, listen, I feel like me and you can make a banging EP, like let's yeah. just work out. And but he was trying to go to LA or okay. Atlanta at that time. Yeah. So he had to push back his know to help me out with the whole mm-hmm. thing because that time i was going for a little thing like a little you know everyone little. goes through a lot definitely so, and at that moment of time he was helping me out with the whole ep thing so yeah. i was grateful for that he seems quite um supportive i yeah. haven't met him but i don't know you know cool you know dude, yeah you know when humble. you just see someone i've seen him on instagram he just yeah. seems like a humble He's nice quiet, person man. He doesn't mean, like talking that much but if yeah. he knows you then obviously he will talk yeah, yeah and he's very creative obviously yeah, yeah, proper, as we proper. can see um so one of my favourite tracks of yours is Do You Love Me? Yeah. Um, Are you asking me the question? Uh, I'm asking you. No, no, no. Don't wait for the question. <laughs> <laughs> that is one of my favourite tracks. And that actually got me listening to a bit of Afro bits. I'm like, oh, Thanks. I kind of like this song. Thanks. And I watched the video and it said to be continued. Now, does yeah. that mean that a remix is coming? Nah, man. They do that. I don't know. The directors <laughs> do that every time, man. They just, it's like a Nigerian thing. I don't right, know. Right. To be continued. And yeah, nothing you know to be continued. Films, yeah, and they say it's... Yeah. Hyping nothing up the happens, man. Nothing happens. Oh, I thought there was going to be a <laughs> remix. I thought it was going to no, be the no. next girl on the video. No. No, <laughs> <laughs> no but it was, it's a really good song. It's a bubbly Thanks. song. I love that song. And the other song that you've got is um, Plenty Plenty. Yeah, that's from the love EP. That tune is banging. Thanks, I, I love it. I love that Thanks. song. Um, so, obviously, um, you're quite a versatile artist. Thank you very much. Would you say that you're an Afrobeat artist or you're just all over because you're uh, qu- you're not just on Afrobeat songs you're quite yeah. v- as I said you're versatile you're on Retro 32 songs uh-huh. you're on C Busy songs you're very very versatile I obviously Afrobeat is what I do yeah because I'm African yeah but I'm just an artist you know what I mean I just mm-hmm. I just make good music yeah you know like I can be on a pop song and mm-hmm. I can be on a rock and roll song oh but wow. obviously what I do bring to it is that I bring the uh, the tone which is African yeah which is yeah. me so yeah yeah. Yeah, no, you're really versatile, but really, really good. Um, so the next question I have for you is what has been your biggest success so far in the music industry? Um, staying relevant, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like um, yeah, because I was reading um Wretch's quote the other day and mm-hmm. it was like, um, everyone likes something that's hot, so stay warm. Right. Because you know, if you're still warm, you can still pick up. Yeah, true. I'm trying to say so. There's no point of being the the best, and mm-hmm. then you have nothing to grow into yeah, again. So yeah. I just like working, keep myself relevant, and and when little things that are major happens, they happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So definitely. I don't really think too much about it, trying to be number one or something. Right. I, mean, I just <laughs> like working, get my name out there. Yeah. Because I don't, I still feel like no one really knows me yet. Right. So I'm just trying to get out there more and let people know my sound and yeah. bring them to my culture. Right. Yeah, you're bringing me to your culture, <laughs> definitely. Um, so y- I've heard that you've obviously previously been signed by Island Records. Yeah. Um, so what happened with that, and are you looking to be signed again? <laughs> um, with that, um, Island, big shout out to Island, man. That's a, that's a good label, obviously. Right. But I feel like at that moment in time, um, we wasn't ready. Okay. Both of us. Right. Label and myself, A&R. Yeah. It was like, it was a rush thing. It was like, okay, cool. He's the, he's the guy at that moment of time. Let's quickly sign him. Da 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 da. Mm-hmm. And uh, obviously, the first single did did well, whatsoever. Yeah. But it we didn't gel. Right. Okay. Like, you know I'm say? So that happened. Then obviously, a lot of people that was part of the team was moving a bit. You know, mm-hmm. this and that, because they felt like maybe oh, I ain't gonna pop kind of thing, no, because right. label's not with me no more. So yeah. Ever. So at that moment of time, I was going through, like I said, a lot of things. I, s- I spoke to my Ex-manager said, you know, listen, I just want to do this by myself and just go away for a while. Right. And just rethink and come back. Yeah. And I told him, I said, listen, I'm going to come back next year. I'm going to make sure that, like, I'm just everywhere good. Mm-hmm. I'm going to make sure I'm popping again. Yeah. And then since then, it's just been amazing. Like, 
So do you think yeah. that you've worked better with, without yeah, myself, being signed by yeah, yourself? Because you can like be more creative, I suppose, yeah, yeah, I as feel well. Like, I feel like when you're signed, you're just limited. Yeah. You know, like, they because they only bring out songs, like, free, like, in the year they have uh, time they bring out music, innit? Right, okay. So, and with me, I just like making music, man. If, if CBiz or someone else calls me, and like, yo, let's do this song. Then you can just like, let's do just it. Go, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So I don't like waiting. I don't like not doing something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, I hear you. Well, yeah. Um, I've got, I've got about four labels trying to talk right now, so. You see but how I'm not trying to jump into anything because I've noticed that, not that I, obviously I can't do it by myself, mm -hmm. but I feel I'm happy that just to be myself right now, just yeah. be free and just do the music I want to do. Definitely, because obviously if I hollered you and you was with a label, I'm gonna have to go through the label in order yeah. to get you here. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> get in quickly before he gets signed <laughs> by a label. <laughs> Um, but something's going to happen real soon, though, definitely. Okay. Because obviously I do need to take myself to the next level, definitely. Yeah, definitely. That's what you're working for, isn't yeah. it? To get yourself to the next level. Um, now, you've mentioned on social media that DJs don't support UK music. Yeah. <laughs> Why you do you think this? Uh, like I said, <laughs> as I was speaking about this um, on radio the other day. Right. I was like, what I meant was um, DJs have the power to... Um, break music mm -hmm. or break artists because obviously you're a DJ and people listen to you because you're a DJ. Yeah, definitely. So not saying you should go out there and play any song. If you mm -hmm. find that there's a good song, play it. Yeah, you know even I mean? if don't you're not known. Yeah, even if you don't know the person. Mm -hmm. If it's good and you like it, play it. Yeah. I feel like a lot of DJs um, try to do this thing because they're in power. Right. They feel like, oh, you're the artist. You have to um, pay them or... or okay. I can't swear on this, can I? No, don't swear. Oh, damn. I don't like swearing. Don't so, swear. Um, pay them or <laughs> kind of like, what's the word looking for? You know when someone just wants you to beg them and watch right, them. Yep, thing. I know. So it's yep. like a lot of people don't. Dis a lot of people don't like. Well, some people don't like me because I just don't care. Right. You know what I mean, like if you don't like me, you don't like me. Yeah, you just. I, I, I'm true open. to myself. I'm true to my supporters. I'm true to to God, and I'm I'm always 100 with people. So mm -hmm. it's like when I speak the truth and try to like, empower like the young people that look up to me or whatever. Yeah. It's like it's like oh he's he's the bad person he's trying to make us not eat or kind of thing. Right. And I just feel like it's wrong. Music is music. Yeah. If you support someone, support they're gonna remember them. you when they yeah. do get to a place. You know what I mean? It's but don't try to charge someone because you want to play their music. Yeah. You know what I mean? So does does um, artists get charged for loads? Okay. I've been to shows that um, you have like they will bring like an international artist to to the UK and then they're making certain UK artists pay to perform for a five wow. minute set. I think that's just ridiculous. So if you're up there, then you don't have to pay. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, if you have to be known or right. so But I think with with me, because my manager was a bit, you know. Yeah. So it was <laughs> like, it wasn't a bully thing. It was like, what do you mean? Pay right. for what? Okay, what say? yeah. Like, w if I'm not performing, then it's the show ain't going to happen kind right. of thing. Yeah. It's not like we're bullying. It's yeah, just like, yeah, yeah. put some respect. Oh, put on. some respect on my name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that. No, no, no. Put some respect um, on my I just yeah, feel I like it's just because I'm so passionate about the music. Like you can't expect me to pay um, a grand five to perform for a five minute set. Yeah, no, that's crazy. I've seen people pay three k to perform for like really? even less than five minutes, just one track, and it's ridiculous. Because why are you? I'd rather just like pay for a plugger to push my music. Then yeah, you know what I mean, so exactly. it's just I don't know, man. No, it's good that you're being real because. We don't know this this yeah, kind yeah. of stuff, it you happens. know what I mean? What happens me, behind happens. the scenes? So it's good that yeah. you're pushing it out there. But following from that question about DJs, yeah. I know that um, a brand. But shout out to the DJs doing a brandy. Um, doing well and supporting good music though. What about a brandy? Because yeah, I know that you went you went on his um, you went on his show yeah. on Capital Extra, yeah. um, and he seems like a really big. Supporter. No, no, it's a, it's a, he keeps it real as well, man. Yeah. That's why I think that's why a lot of people don't like him as well. <laughs> he keeps it real. Yeah, he keeps it real, and big shout to DJ Edu. Mm -hmm. E plus, everyone doing Neptune's, everyone just supporting the supporting movement, the right? thing, yeah. yeah. No, that's good. And um, I've heard, obviously, with the whole you're not signed, etc., mm. that you haven't got a manager. No, nah, man. I, what, I, you're gonna need one soon, don't you think? What's the definition of a manager? Do you know what? I was talking to someone today, um, and they're a musician, and they were saying they've got a good manager, but they've had bad managers and I think as well sometimes maybe I might be wrong but some managers might break the relationship between or they present the artist so if you've got a manager say for instance I've been in contact with your manager they contacted me and they were rude I would think that you're rude does that make sense 
Apparently, so apparently, uh, the manager's allowed to be rude, not the artist. Oh. Apparently. But I think the managers represent the artists. So why do you feel that you don't need a manager right now? Or why do you feel that you can deal with everything, basically? Do you think that having a manager is a bad thing? No, they just restrict you. Mm. Some of them from, it's like, I want to go to like an event, just yeah. mingle with other artists. But like, it's like, I don't know, man, it's just weird. Like. Mm -hmm you can't speak to your supporters because you have to act a certain way. It's just right. ridiculous. Yeah. I don't know. I just can't do it. I can't I can't be fake. Mm -hmm. like if I want to say my mind on social media, I will say my mind. Like yeah. Regardless who's watching or not. And I feel like they, some of them come up like, oh, if, you s if you're emotional on social media, people ain't going to buy your music. It doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. So what am I trying to sell? If what, yeah. what, what do they know about me for them to actually like me? Mm -hmm. Maybe some of them might like me because I... Um, I'm being myself. Yeah. I just don't know how to just fake it, man. It's just not me. But it's good because I, I find that... And I feel like, sorry. No, go I on. I feel like no, when I didn't have a manager, I did more. You know right, I mean? I okay. Was, I was just out there trying to hustle my way and just be the, be yeah. the person I am. I think it's good as an artist to be yourself because you find that yeah. a lot of artists, they fake it because you think, oh my God, that person's doing so well, that person's yeah. rich. And... It's not really like that, is it? I it's a struggle. I think here yeah, with me, if you're support of my music, I just I just want people to just when when I post things like, Oh, you listen, I just got signed, yeah, cheer for me. When I'm going through something, see that as well. Yeah. So it's like a it's a journey. Yeah, no, I, I think mean. I think that is a strong point as an artist, yeah. definitely, because you always see the glitz and glams all the time. And it ain't yeah. glitz and glams. Yeah, man. Yeah. No, definitely that's good. Definitely. I love that. I love <laughs> that. So um what was the other question I had for you? You've um, mentioned yeah. that people think that you're ignorant. <laughs> yeah, man, I get that a lot. <laughs> why do you think? Why do you think that? Um, I don't know. I don't know to be honest. Maybe because you're I just real. I get it from real. girls a lot. Oh, from girls. Yeah, girls. But I did see you on Straight No Chaser saying, "No, nah, man, ain't been on no dates." Yeah, don't do that. But your songs are so loving. How man ain't I been know. on no date, fam? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Not a little Nando's or something, no. My friends, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but not no dates like nah, that. I ain't been on a date. So uh, how do you get inspired to write love songs? Um, to be honest, I'm so creative in the sense that I can put myself in a position I'm not in. Right, in okay, sense. okay. So I just think like, yes, Mo, think about you're in love with a girl, this and that. Uh -huh. I feel like you don't have to be in love for you to write love songs, to be honest. Right, you okay. Can, I can write love songs with about my friend's relationship with right. his girlfriend or whatever, or what I see around me. If you're surrounded is all the way I'm feeling. So. so what about Do You Love Me? How did that... Oh, Do You Love Me was a different thing. That was actually a relationship that I had. Okay. But it was a... F like, I kind of... <laughs> I kind of... <sh> I gave her more than she... Gave back to you. Yeah. So it was like a song, like a question song, like, to my next girlfriend, like, uh -huh. do you love me? Or do you actually care? Like, I want to know. Okay, so that's something yeah. that you've experienced. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, good to know. So um, you've got... Sounds a bit mushy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Getting a bit mushy out here. <laughs> um, you've got your show coming up. Yeah, yeah. Irity, am I saying it right? Irity. Irity. No, Irity. Irity. No, I oh, say Irity. So okay, you've got you your show coming up. So say it, but you'll do it again. Yeah. Irity. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Irity. Ivity, can I say it quick like that? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's good. Okay. <laughs> so you've got your unplugged show coming yeah. up, and that's on the 19th of June yeah. at the old Blue, Blue. Lars. Yeah, yeah. Um, can you tell us what, what we're going to expect when we come to this show? Um, you're just going to enjoy music mm -hmm. that I, so I make. Yeah. Live music, and just, I feel like people would understand why I'm myself, why I'm so passionate about the music and why I made the type of music I make. It's yeah. just, I'm just trying to be myself and just make people love me for me. I'm not trying to follow fashion kind mm -hmm. of thing. That's good. So I feel like when you do come to the show on the 19th of June. <laughs> um, the plug, the plug, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you would enjoy it, man. You would want to, I think you would, you, would, you would like me more. Right, know? okay. Yeah. So have you got any special guests coming up? Yeah, I got, I got some special guests. So You're not letting that out the camera? No, 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 no. That's why special <laughs> guests. Um, so right. make sure you come down on the 19th of June. And then we'll see the special guests. See, yeah. So follow me on Twitter. My logo. Mm -hmm. The link is there. Get your tickets. Good. I can't wait. Like, so you're trying to plug. Trying <laughs> to plug. Got to plug. Um, so another thing, actually. My brother likes your song um, with Mo Sax. Oh, thank you very much. So he, he's, he's little. He's only young. So oh. he goes, oh. How old is he? He's nine. 
So That's he said, good. oh, when you interview him, can you get his autograph for me? <laughs> I was like, oh, so look, you've got fan base. <laughs> so after the show, we're going to have to get autograph. Okay. Cool. Yes, good, good, good. Now, um, just right. So I asked my friend, I said, right, I'm interviewing someone. He's from Africa. What languages do, do you guys speak? She was like, oh, what's his name? I don't know. Like, you've got loads <laughs> of languages. What language do you speak? Um, Nigerian, I'm Yoruba. Yoruba is a language. It's a tribe. Right, right okay. Okay, so how do you say, I'm not going to repeat because oh I yeah. can't, <laughs> yeah. How do you say, I love you? Monifer. Okay. How are you? Paoni. No, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got it right? Yeah, I'm right. How do you say, my name is? Urukomini. Okay. I'm not going to try and say that, <laughs> but I just wanted to know. Now. Yeah. You should learn Yoruba, it's a, it's a nice language. Yeah, I like Bro. it, I like it. I, I try. But just yeah, try. I, I try, I Go try. On. I'm going to try on the show. I'll try next time. <laughs> now, um, we've got some game questions for you. Okay. Okay. So, first one is, if you had to take one of these ladies out on a date, now, I know you don't do dates, but it's only a game, yeah. all right? And I hope that if these ladies are not single, don't take it to offence. Don't come from a logo or anything like that, okay? They're English artists, okay? Yeah. Right. I, what, I have to pick one? You have to pick one. All right. Go on. Miss Banks. <laughs> Steph London. Okay. Paige Cakey. Which one? Uh, my thing. Um. <laughs> it's only a game. How old is Paige again? She's over 18. No, it's a bit mad still. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I think I'll take out Paige out of the thing because I don't, you don't, I don't think Mina would be able to discuss. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. You don't know. Um, so you got Steph London, Miss Banks. I think Steph, because uh -uh. yeah, she just <laughs> she seems challenging. Chal oh, you like a challenge? Yeah. Okay. So Steph. Not saying Miss Banks not. Yeah, Miss Banks. Uh, she's they're all hot. They're all hot. Yeah. It's only a game. Yeah, and she's you're a friend, so I wouldn't. One. I don't know. I'm, I'm oh, Miss Banks, your friend. Yeah, so okay, right. You can only choose one. And yeah, Steph, only yeah. it's only a game. So Steph London. Well, she's single. What's that? Steph London, she's single. I don't know. You have to hit her up. Slide in her DM, fam. All right, the joke. next question. Um, if you had to choose one of these legends to do a song with, who would you choose, okay? Prince, Whitney Houston, or Luther Vandross? Whoa. Mm. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> Prince. Yeah. Oh, oh Whitney. They're all good. I know, man. But you can only I'll say Whitney. One. Whitney Houston. Yeah. I love Whitney Houston. Yeah, because I feel like people connect with it more. Yeah, she's yeah. very soulful, isn't mm -hmm. she? They're all good. Right, so three artists have hollered you to tour with them, mm -hmm. but you can only choose one. One. Okay. Now, they're going to these luxury locations, okay, as well. So you've got um, Getz. He's touring in Barbados. Okay. Okay. You've got Kano. He's touring in Brazil. Mm -hmm. And you've got Lethal Bizzle, who's touring in um, Lagos. <laughs> <laughs> Which one would you choose? You can only Gets, choose one. Kano or Lethal, Lethal Bizzle. Now, remember, Getz is going Barbados, Kano's going Brazil, and Lethal Bizzle's going Lagos. So, where's Kano going? K did I say you? Right, Kano's going Brazil. I go with Kano still. Kano, why? Yeah. Because it's Brazil or because it's Kano? You like I'm Kano. trying to branch out, man. You're trying to branch out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to like, go different places. I hear Where you, I hear me, you, I, I hear you. So now, sorry. before, I'm going to just obviously let people know where to find you, etc. But I'm going to ask you a question. You might say no, but can you, because we were trying to dance to a bit of Afro bits and we don't know how to do it. Can you teach us? Oh, I'm the wrong person. Oh, see, I knew you was going to say I don't, that. I don't, I, swear, I don't dance at all. Like, I don't know how to do it. We were trying to do that dance with the nah, leg. and that's not me. That's not you. It's just for you to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Next time I have to bring him on the yeah, show. Man, nah, I, knew, I, knew I don't you know how to do it. that. Nah, no way. Even when I go out clubbing with my friends, you I just stand in the corner. I don't... I don't really? Don't, I don't... The whining well, thing, I don't know how to do none of you that. don't know how to what? None of that. I swear to God, I don't. Right, I thought I thought I answered. <laughs> I thought I answered by him. Yeah. <laughs> right. I just... I don't know. It's, it's weird. When I'm on stage, I move, but... When you're in the club. No, nah, I don't like to do that at all. You don't like to do that? Because I don't like to do it. I just don't like to dance. Oh, okay. So I'm going to hook you up with some dancing lessons. Yeah, thanks. Please. Okay. <laughs> so what is next for Malogo and where um, can we find you? 
Um, I've got my show on the 19th of June. Mm -hmm. And yeah, please come through and come show support and just experience my logo with music. And might be dropping another EP as well Ooh. before the end of the year. Okay. And got some collaborations stateside. Right. And yeah, just working and just more of my logo, man, definitely. And where can everyone find you? Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Mologo, M O E L O G O. Instagram, the same thing. Um, Facebook, Mologo One. Okay, cool. Well, yeah. thank you for coming to the show. It's uh, been such a me. pleasure. Thank you. And thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thanks. Mary Pondies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah.